you're the reason that we have salmon living in the Kanaka Creek again, because during the 1970s, the salmon populations were be beginning to decline dramatically. And in early 1980s, Metro Vancouver, then GVRD, DFO, and many others got together and facilitated the rebuilding of the original old horse barn, cattle barn, into the Bell Irving Hatchery. So 32 years later, we've got a new facility that we're proud as heck to show off and make a commitment towards a unique experience for the future with our stewardship center. This area wouldn't be populated if it weren't for the fish that feed the salmon streams, that feed the, the Fraser River, that make for big trees, that make for great soil, that make for great agricultural lands. This is why people have been living here for millennia, and it starts with those little fry as they head out to that stream. It ensures that uh, today's generation, my kids and my grandkids, uh, as well as future generations, will understand the importance of our environment and the importance of maintaining and looking after it. There's thousands and thousands of students actively involved in our watershed weekly, monthly, and yearly. So oh, all of those successes are because of what we collectively do as partners. People and businesses, governments and individuals who care about Kanaka Creek, who care about our salmon. <laughs>